Hi everybody. I'm back and today we're going to do something very special to me. I'll give you a little backstory. Uh, when my daughter-in-law first got married, I used to go the day before Thanksgiving and prepare the stuffing and wash the turkey. And I think after about three or four years, she said, you know what? I'm going to try to do it myself. And she's been doing it ever since. She does a beautiful job. So we figured just before Thanksgiving, some people like to have different kinds of stuffings. And you may like this one. So we're going to show you how it's done. It's very simple. We put everything in the food processor. Now when it's in the turkey, it's much more moist and it comes out better. But today, since we don't have our turkey yet, we're going to put it in a pan and we're going to bake it. So my daughter-in-law said maybe to make it a little more moist, we'll use chicken broth. So that's what we bought. But normally when we put it in the bird, we do not put any broth in it. Okay? So the ingredients are eggs, garlic, pepperoni, mozzarella, sliced bread, panko breadcrumbs, grated cheese. Now, this is not something that I can tell you use four pieces of bread. It's what you like. It's the consistency of how you like it. Well, we, Graham, you can tell what we have right here. Yes. This is a half a stick of pepperoni, eight ounces of mozzarella, right. and four very large cloves of garlic. Because we love garlic, and yes. five eggs. And five eggs. So we're going to put everything in the food processor. My daughter, This is my daughter-in-law, by the way. She's the meatloaf person. And she also does the baking in our house. And I hate baking, but she gets me every year. So we're going to show you how we do it. And we're going to slice the bread. We'll get back to you when the bread is sliced. And we'll show you the components as we put them in. Okay, my daughter-in-law today bought all the ingredients from, uh, you know, she went shopping. Now this is fresh bread, but if you have stale bread, it's even better. If you have uh, stale white bread, it's even better. Because I like everything crusty and crunchy. So I think when you put it in the turkey, it makes it very, very good. So now we're cutting all our bread. We're ripping it into little pieces. It doesn't have to be super small. And what would you say, Lisa, how much bread are we using? A half a loaf? This is 20 ounce white bread. Okay. We're probably using a little more than half of that. Okay. How this started, so I can tell you a little bit of backstory on this. My One of my best girlfriend's mother, I went to her house one Thanksgiving, and I loved her stuffing. It was completely different than what my mother made. And um, through the years, I tried to modify it to what I liked. She used to have Italian sausage in hers, which I'm sure will be fine. Uh, I, I started putting pepperoni, and my family loves that. Uh, I think we have enough, right, Lisa? Enough. It goes down to nothing. So okay, all of right. Pieces. And uh, and that's how I modified it through the years. Uh, originally, this was my girlfriend's mother's stuffing. Wait, it's so good. Sausage? She had made it with Italian sausage. Did she cook the sausage first? Yes, she cooked it and put it in. I didn't care for the, I didn't like that peppery uh, sausage favorite, so I decided to put pepperoni. Well, maybe if you got a, a sweeter sausage. Yeah, it could be. Also, I know people that have put prosciutto instead of pepperoni. You can do that. You know, it's whatever you like to, whatever flavors you care for. I've known people to put prosciutto in it. It's very good with the prosciutto. But we, we enjoy it this way. We love it this way. Okay, okay the now all cut. The bread is cut. Now we're going to beat the egg separate because you don't want any shells. Mm -hmm. To get in your right here, Lisa. Cup? No, that's good, honey. You want to cut them in here? Okay. Yeah, this is a, a very nice recipe. We're Everybody doing, loves uh, it. We're doing five eggs. And yes. We can always adapt as we go along, which right. we've done in the past. So we start out with five. Right. Sometimes we do a couple more. Right. The moist, like when you feel it and you feel it's moist enough, you don't need to add more. I usually add four eggs to almost three quarters of a loaf. That's what I do. Okay. And the garlic, Lisa, I'm going to put it in the blender, right, honey? Yes. Okay, so we're going to add in the blender, we're going to put our mozz, our pepperoni, 
and our garlic and the grated cheese is already grated. But if we didn't have a grated, we'd have to add a couple of chunks of grated cheese. Okay, so you want to put that all in the blender? Yeah, I'm just going to cut the garlic into yeah. some smaller chunks. And we love garlic in this house. So those are f four fairly big uh, garlic cloves. You can see they're quite yeah. large. But if you don't like that much garlic, you can add less. This is something to your discretion. It's, you know, you keep doing it. You get it the first time. You like something less, something more. That's basically how a recipe is. You know, your own discretion. But this is so good. Everyone loves it. Yeah. So you can see it's pretty finely ground. You want to spoon this up for me? Okay, so we dumped the garlic and the pepperoni in. But you can see there's still a little bit left in here. So the way we get rid of that is we put a couple extra slices of bread in here. So we mix it one more time and it gets the last little bit. Sour. I can smell it. I can smell You smell it, Lisa? Mm -hmm. That's such a good smell. You know, uh, like I was telling my daughter-in-law, you can put this in a chicken in a Cornish hen. Make less stuffing and put it in a corner shack. It is absolutely delicious. I think once you've tried it, you'll use it all the time. It is so delicious. You see, we got the, the rest of all the good little bits out. Yeah. I'm smelling it here and it smells so good. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to cut the mozzarella, right, Lisa? Yes. Okay. And I measured out a, a cup of cheese. But like I said, we're gonna we're gonna look at it. We may add more because we love cheese also. You want me to help you? Oh, sorry. Um, and that's basically your recipe. That's everything is in there. Uh, like I said, this time we're gonna put the chicken broth only because we're not putting it in a turkey. And also we're gonna add some panko breadcrumbs to get that little bit of crisp edge on and it. And I'm cutting these into like quarter inch or even less size pieces. Mm -hmm. See, I'm getting lazy as I get older. I put everything in the food process, but my daughter-in-law still cuts. The cheats. Yeah. <laughs> I cheat. It's right, honey. I don't say you cheated. Oh. I said the cheese. I love her to death. <laughs> I want to beat her up because she watches over me like a hawk. I'm not allowed to do a lot of things. But I know she loves me. <laughs> of course, Graham. I know. Oop, did I lose one? Those ones, I never thought of putting anything other cheese in it. I wonder if you could probably do it with a cheddar if people like cheddar better. Probably. Probably. Did you, did you say what kind of cheese you're using there? I'm using Pecorino Romano. That's all we use. Yeah. Uh, Parmesan. Parmesan. Right. But I was wondering if you could put in Fontina. Probably. Asiago. It would give a different flavor. Or even blue cheese, maybe? Blue cheese, if somebody would like blue. I would love that. That sounds good. I don't know if everybody needs some more here, yeah, honey. Oops, we lost some. I knew we lost some. That's okay. And now we're going to put our eggs? Mm-hmm. Or do you want to put the cheese first? The cheese first? Okay. So okay. So this is about a cup of cheese. Well, uh, after we mix it and get everything, we might add some more. Yeah, we're all cheese lovers. Then we should have got even the bigger dish, right? I know. All right, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. You want a little panko bread? Yes. Yes. I think Jonas, it's time for him to get in. What do you think? Lisa? So that's probably like. Three or four good handfuls of panko. Mm -hmm. Here's my grandson who's never left me. Okay. These are all, you know, extras, but this is my main man. Okay, honey, you're going to mix it now? Yep. Okay. And you can tell us, too, 
like if you think it's moist as you mix it or how it feels to you, we might have to add another egg. Jonas has been helping me for years and years mix all this together, so he should know by now. Yeah. Yeah, this is so you don't want it too dry, but you don't want it wet either. And how it comes out of the, uh, the turkey, it comes out almost like a bread and you slice it. It's absolutely delicious. How's it looking, Jonas? I think it looks good. Um, uh, let's see, I need to mix it a little bit more. Yeah. Let me hold my feet. You smell, you smell it? It smells really good. Yeah. <laughs> he loves it too. Do you think we need any more eggs? I don't think so. I think it's okay, right? I haven't done this in a while. But... Because you know why we're going to put the broth? If it, turns, if it turns into like a ball, is it good? Yeah, yeah that's fine. That's perfect, honey. Yeah, and now we're going to, like I said, we don't normally do this. But because we're not putting it in the turkey, my daughter-in-law thought to put the chicken broth in it. Just keeps it a little moist. Yeah. Okay, honey, we're going to put it in that bowl. And, you know, flatten it out. That's it. Now, what size turk are you getting with she and Lisa? I usually get an 18 or 20 18, pounder. 18, yeah. I usually get a 12 pound. I never got to a big turkey, but she gets a big turkey. This amount of stuffing is actually too much to fit in the bird, right? You usually have extra that you make separately? Uh, this is probably just enough to fit in the bird. Just right. enough. I usually make extra. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So what we're going to do is just pour a little bit on top just to keep it a little moist. See, it's not even a lot. It's just a little bit, just to keep it moist. And what's the oven at, Lisa? 375? 375, probably 30, 45 minutes. I would say 30, there. yeah, 35 minutes. So yeah. you can see the bread soaked it right up, so. You want to put more? I need a little extra. And I hope you try it. You know, it may not be Thanksgiving. You don't want to start Thanksgiving. You don't know if you're going to like it. But I would love your feedback because this is something we've been doing for years. And I hope you like it, and I hope you enjoy it. And please give me some feedback, and if you love my channel, please subscribe.